What's going on guys? Today we're gonna go over some of the beginner tips for Axie Infinity. So in this team we have the Elijah Bird. Here we have the Hair Digger to get the extra card draw. The Egg Bomb for the outplay potential. This makes your opponents attack way less. You know, gets the damage and this of course makes them miss. So a very useful bird. Takes a lot of practice to really get good with but once you master him, you can outplay almost anyone. Then we have in the middle an Aqua with the Shrimp on it, of course can attack the back. You can really decide when you want to destroy the back. And in the front we have the absolute Cattail Vegetable Plant. Now in this season with all the beast damage going on, Cattail Slap has become an absolute necessary card and it is absolutely great. So in this video I want to go over some beginner tips to really help you if you're entering this game, how to outplay different types and basically the best moves to make depending on what team you're going against. So we're going against another team. They have a front aqua, very atypical, but again, this is a low MMR team. So a lot of you people, when you start out, you're gonna play against teams like this. So this is an aqua in the front. Um, not necessarily a good tank, so we should take that one easily. They put their plant in the middle and this allows them, with a plant in the middle, it allows them to steal energy later in the game so it will be a bit harder to save energy and of course they have the beast now the beast is always great for damage and crits you know the criticals are coming you know the big damage is coming you know your plant is not safe and the beast is trying to finish the game by round six now this beast doesn't have imp and um it's gonna struggle for energy a little bit but that's why they have gota and vegetable to make sure that you're not energying up as well and of course care to make sure that they have their energy ready so with all that being said guys we're going to get into this game and go over so this team on the right is my scholars team we're going to see what he did great and what maybe he can improve on so let's get into it so he first starts off with a hair the reason he does this now notice he's faster than him is if this guy attacks at all he's going to miss his first attack and of course he only has attacking cards um, doesn't really have that much decent first round moves, but I honestly wouldn't mind a Peace Treaty, Carrot, and then Fear. That way, if this guy does attack, it's going to be way less. You're doing a lot of damage out of the beginning. And then probably Disarm. Honestly, if you do these three cards, I think you can get rid of him off the top. But let's see what he decides to do. He does one Carrot now. Um, I wouldn't use Cattail, sl Cattail Slap. No, Cattail Slap is a card that allows you to draw a card when you're hit. Um, I would save it, actually, and that's because this beast wants to sort of rev up to get his cards. Uh, actually, no, you know what? I like using it first. The only reason is, and as I switch this song, the only reason I like using it first is because Gota is a move that people like using first round. By the way, we got a new follower. Thank you, Dale, for the follow. So because he has Gota, I don't mind using it first, but usually you see this Ronin card here. They want to save up. They want to get rid of your plant in one go. So I would change in this situation the first round to full damage here. Now let's see round two what happens here. So now round two, he goes for the damage here, but notice this opponent goes from three energy to five energy. At 5 energy, <laughs> you're probably not going to survive if he really has his cards, but in round 2, this isn't a bad move by Steven with the plant here. Because really what Steven's doing is he's taking the gamble, he's hoping his opponent doesn't have his 4 beast cards, and the opponent does, and unfortunately he takes him out without being able to use moves. Now they both skip round 3, nothing's terrible about that um now realistically in the game you have to identify who's your threat here right so they could kill the beast right now they do have the backdoor opportunity to kill the beast but realistically the biggest threat is kind of this plant here in the middle right you have two types aqua and bird that are weak against the plant so Knowing when to go back door is very key and here you want to save all your cards so you can really take care of 
the aqua. Now here what I would do is usually when you want, when you're attacking, you want to also be defending. So I would actually not use any of these bird cards here. Hair is the only card that you have that does extra damage to plants. So I would actually save it on this end here. So. So he's able to take him out here. He does the one shipwreck here and look at this card, vegetable here. Notice it says energy destroyed and he actually gained an energy from using vegetable here. So that's the real scary thing about having this vegetable and Goda is right now our scholar, scholar number 24, Steven, he's not able to really save his energy in this situation. So right now he's actually in a tougher game than it looks. It's pretty gonna be a pretty tough game for him to actually finish so let's see what he does here by the way if you see this attacking sign here that's because when you use shipwreck if someone breaks your shield you're actually get an extra attack bonus next round which is pretty nice so in this situation you're gonna have you know see his energy count here you're gonna have three energy here i'm gonna 100 percent use all aqua cards now the real question is do I want to go to the back door or front door? And here in this situation, you're going to have to go to the back door. Coldhearted says opponent didn't use his Aqua at all. Literally, his opponent let his Aqua die with all the cards in his hand, which is crazy to think about. <laughs> um, so in this situation here, I would 100% attack the back beast. And the reason is, even though this guy is the biggest threat, right now, I do don't think I think they're gonna this guy this player here especially in the lower MMR I think this guy's gonna split their attacks if you're able to attack the beast fully and get rid of him ah you only have three energy though mm, that's gonna be tough so with shrimp and two piranhas you might get it done but realistically that's really risky ah man this is this is actually tough I don't know what I would do in this situation possibly just go for as much damage as you can piranha piranha shuriken but let's see what he does here. This is a really tough situation. He sacrifices his bird. Okay. <laughs> now we're in a really tough situation here. So the good news is this double carrot would have gave this guy the energy push he needs for endgame to win. He doesn't barrel into it, which gives him a chance here. But now you're in really shaky territories. You have five energy and notice he goes to kill the plant. Now remember your plant is your biggest threat here. So this is the most damage you can do. And the plant uses a vegetable. Now the great thing about when the, an opponent misses with vegetable, it's essentially like you losing them losing an energy, right? They wasted it. So. Being able to really count manage your energy is going to be very vital because this person has Goda and Vegetable, but once they get past this plant, I think it's game over. Coldhearted says one thing with the bird is it can 1v1 plants with enough energy. Oh, absolutely. Especially with Peacemaker and Balloon. It's an absolute beast. By the way, guys, we have Yande in the build and Yande says, how are we doing? Yande, hope you had a very merry Christmas, my friend. All right, so let's see here. Did they both just skip that turn? There's no way. So again, the crazy thing about Shipwreck, it, is, it has 90 shield, which is an insane amount of shield it puts up. Now, interestingly enough, they both skipped their last turn. <laughs> Very interesting, especially with this guy having Gota and Vegetable, but Steven, our scholar, does get lucky here. Able to do some damage here and gets rid of the plant. That is just an absolutely vital move. Now, the one thing about being a beginner is it's really important to pay attention to types and which types are strong against which. So Aquas, this guy is weak against plants, but Aquas are super strong against beasts. This beast one on 1v1, even though look at this insane combo he's about to do, has no chance. This is one of the strongest combos you can literally do in the game. And look, even though it's so powerful, does it get rid of our protagonist 
No, we still have 35 HP because we put up a ton of shield with shipwrecks. And now it is time for him to show why it's so powerful. 219, 158, and 110. Now, why did the first one do 219? That's because of this shipwreck giving him an extra attack bonus. So one of the big things about this game is there was a bit of wasted opportunity there, a couple of the turns that we talked over, but Steven was able to get this win through well-timed pass and energy management. Also, there was a couple of misplays by the opponent over here, so we were able to get it. But as Steven gets to get better and improve his MMR, these games will be absolute cake work for him. So if you like these type of videos and you like when I go over these beginner tips and tutorials, make sure you subscribe for more. It's your boy, Fly Stewie, back in the booth, and we, Flight Crew, will see you next time. Peace.